Wiltavry, Hamel, and Noble, Dutch foreigners in Josan. Foreigners have played an important role in Korean history, also in Joseon history, and um, a number of those foreigners were Dutch, and this is their story. The influence that they had on Joseon is perhaps not very big, or hasn't been very big, but the influence these, their stories have had upon the way we see Joseon and see Korea has, on the other hand, been quite uh, impressive, and that's what we'll discuss in this next lecture. So, what I hope to do is to make, you, to make clear to you what the story of the first Dutch man in Chosun was um, and to relate that to the foreign policy of the late Chosun state or the middle to late Chosun state. Um, after this lecture, you will know the story of Hendrik Hamel and his colleagues and you'll be able to imagine what their life in Chosun in the 7th century must have been like as foreigners who could not or were not supposed to return home. And finally, um, you'll be able to understand what the motivation was for the third um, protagonist of our story, Fridolin Knobel, a 19th, late 19th century, early 20th century Dutch diplomat, in trying to, and failing uh, finally, to um, establish trading relations, commercial relations between the Netherlands and, um, and Korea. So these are the people we'll talk about. Jan Jansson Weltevree, who, according to some, was a pirate, was to shore. Hendrik Hamel, a shipwrecked bookkeeper, uh, both in the 17th century and in the late 19th century, early 20th century. Friedelin Knobel, a Dutch diplomat who did his best to establish relations between, commercial relations um, between um, the Kingdom of the Netherlands and by then the Empire of the Great Han, um, Chosun. Now, what is important is, um, I think, this. The perception of Korea in the Western world, in the traditional era, and that goes both ways, both the way Korea or Chosun perceived the Western world and the way the Western world perceived Korea. So I hope this is something you keep in mind during the lectures. <music>